Sporotrichosis is an infection caused by a fungus known as Sporothrix schenka. Outbreaks of Sporotrichosis have been documented in the United States, Western Australia, and Brazil. The exact incidence of sporotrichosis is unknown, but people at increased risk for sporotrichosis usually have occupational or recreational exposures to related agriculture, horticulture, forestry, or gardening. The fungus lives throughout the world in soil, plants, and decaying vegetation. Cutaneous infection is the most common form of infection, although pulmonary infection can occur if a person inhales the microscopic airborne fungal spores. Most cases of sporotrichosis are sporadic and are associated with minor skin trauma, like cuts and scrapes. However, outbreaks have been linked to activities that involve handling contaminated vegetation, such as moss, hay, or wood. People who handle thorny plants, sphagnum moss, or bales of hay are at increased risk of getting sporotrichosis. The infection is more common among people with weakened immune systems, but it can also occur in otherwise healthy people. Outbreaks have occurred among florists, plant nursery workers who have handled sphagnum moss, rose gardeners, children who have played on bales of hay, and greenhouse workers who have handled thorns contaminated by the fungus. The first symptom is usually a small painless nodule resembling an insect bite. The first nodule may appear in any time from 1 to 12 weeks after exposure to the fungus. The nodule can be red, pink, or purple in color, and it usually appears on the finger, hand, or arm where the fungus has entered through a break in the skin. The nodule will eventually become larger in size and may look like an open sore or ulcer that is very slow to heal. Most sporothrix infections only involve the skin. However, the infection can spread to other parts of the body, including the bones, joints, and the central nervous system. Usually, these types of disseminated infections only occur in people with weakened immune systems. In rare cases, a pneumonia-like illness can occur after inhaling sporothrix spores. To learn more about sporotrichosis and sporothrix schenka, or other indoor air quality and environmental contaminants, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.